Why did I say learn it? Because he's a PhD, is it? No, 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 no. That uh, is of no consequence. He is learned because he is humble. <laughs> Vidya Dadati Vinaya. I learned some Sanskrit from this young lady. <laughs> Education is humility. But most of us think, I am educated so I must be arrogant. You are a fool <laughs> if you are arrogant. I don't know if, how many of you have read that beautiful Kannada small, small little stanza by Panjai Mangeshpai. Yeruvanu Ravi, the sun rises. Yeruvanu, Kattal Ravi Jagalarvanu, fighting with darkness. Yeri dan tele chikkavaragi thorvanu, as he goes up he becomes smaller and smaller. Yeri davanu chikkavanagi rebeke yemma maathana jagake sarvanu. That is, he goes up, becomes smaller and smaller. Proclaim it to the world that those who go up in the ladder of life should be humbler and humbler. I have great respect for chartered accountants. I have so many members of my family, extended family who are chartered accountants. Actually, when I was a little boy, my, one of my cousins was a senior chartered accountant. Those days he was a CA. V.M. Shetty and sons, I think he is no more. His son is continuing the business or whatever you want to call it as. Prakash Shetty is his name. I think they have an office in Bangalore as well. So, uh, chartered accountants are not new to me. As Justice Kotari said, today I was, I was in the Gulf countries. The Indian chartered accountants are very highly thought of in that area. And they want to hire them if they want, if they have an opportunity. So, keep up that reputation. Please don't spoil it. But I tell you, but I tell you, there are a lot of black sheep in your uh, organization also. I have a classmate of mine who goes around lecturing at uh, Rotary Clubs. He is a chartered accountant. He tells them, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to pay tax, come to me. I will see how you can legally not pay taxes. But the man has forgotten that ethically is not the same as legally. What is legal is not ethical, but what is ethical is always legal. So the taxes, payment of tax, whatever is, of course, our country doesn't in return look after you because, you know, I was in England for a number of years. I know I have paid tax there. Even today, if I claim, I get my pension. I have not claimed it. And that's a country which looks after you when you are in, when you are in trouble. But our country doesn't do that. I might have paid so much of tax. But if I am really in the dumps, the country doesn't bother about you. There is no social security at all. As a matter of fact, at my age also I don't get any social benefits. Though I have paid lot of tax in my life. So this is what is happening. So that's why many people try to avoid tax. But let me tell you something. There is always happiness in being authentic. Authentic is the most important word. I, but the problem is with our educational system. Do you know what the education system tries to do here? He is trying for a healthy, wealthy career. The, I was in IIT Chennai the other day, the other day means about a year ago, lecturing there. At the end, the director told me, Sir, ours is our number one IIT in uh, India. I said, Why? How do you say that? What's the yardstick? He said, My last student got 8 crore uh, per year salary. I said, I'm sorry for you. If that is a yardstick, yours is the worst IIT, I said. <laughs> Have you been able to produce a Manjunatha in your IIT? You know who Manjunatha is? Who is that? Manjunatha was an engineer, was an engineer, he is no more. Who came out of the IIT. He had a very big job in America, he refused that. He wanted to serve this country and join the Indian Oil Corporation. And he very quickly found out that there is so much of fraud going on. You know, they adulterate this petrol in the bunks and all. So he went out single-handedly to avoid this and got shot by the gundas. So you have very few of those. Our education system must change. Justice Kotari said, you change, the world changes. Yes, he is absolutely right. There is an old story of a young boy who is very naughty in the house. The father and the mother had no time because he was asking so many questions. Today, of course, asking questions is dangerous because if you take, if you ask questions and you are taken to the doctor, they will make a diagnosis of ADHD. <laughs> you should not ask questions to the teacher. Whatever the teacher says, you must say, yes, you are, a, you are supposed to be a good student. 
but the education must make a healthy mind not just a wealthy career